I'm Tom Merritt from Daily Tech News Show. Here are the top five ways to fight misinformation online. I don't know if you realize this, but everyone is trying to fool you. Don't let them. Here are five ways to not get fooled by misinformation online. Number five, be aware of your own blind spots, your own emotions, your own biases. When you know yourself and pay attention to what you're thinking and feeling, it's easier to tell if somebody's trying to manipulate you. Hey, they're just trying to make me mad. Coming in at number four, question the source. Who's saying it? And what is their motivation for saying it? Remember, just because the source looks well-designed does not mean it comes from someone reliable. Up to number three, be curious. Read beyond the headline. Consider the opposite to what's being said. Could that also be true? If it could, there's a good chance they're trying to fool you. Look outside your bubble, too. Don't just use sources that always tell you what you want to hear. Sliding in at number two, stop. Think before believing something. And definitely stop and think before sharing it. Don't just hit the reshare or the retweet or the retoot or any other sharing button. Would you attach your name to something? Would you be responsible for it? If not, don't share it. And number one, counter misinformation without getting drawn into an argument or a debate. This is a hard one. But sometimes simply saying this isn't true can do a lot. Even if they argue back, if you don't respond, you're going to live rent free in their head. You may not see the result, but it'll be there. When you shout back, though, you give people a target to vent on. Don't give them that. Now, these are just a few helpful tips. They're not the only ones, but hopefully they get you started on protecting yourself and others from being fooled online. And if you want more great tech news and info like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash daily tech news show, and get the podcast at dailytechnewsshow.com. I'll see you there.